YouTube. Um, I'm back with my second vlog. And last time, um, I said that I would make a new video once, um, <coughs> I received my YSU acceptance package. And yesterday, I finally got it in the mail. But I didn't get a chance to make a video about it until today. So, this is basically the envelope. And it's really, really big because there's a lot of stuff. And inside, there's like a bunch of letters. Well, actually one letter from YSU that just says, Congratulations, um, you received this scholarship. And he, here are like a list of things you should make sure to do before uh, you're exchanged. And just stuff like that. There's also a um, airport um, change form, which is like the airport that you take off from to go to California. And you were supposed to write, you were supposed to uh, pick your, your um, the airport you wanted to take off from, like on your YSU application. But like, maybe if you like had a change, if you changed your mind from the time you filled out your application, and then you could use that form to change your airport, but me, I'm still, I still want to go to the same airport, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't need that form. Um, there was also, let me think, oh, there was um, a parent handbook, which is like a lot of info for your parents to read, and it's pretty thick, and I don't have that right now because my parents have it. And then, I, there also was this, which is the, um, World Traveler Handbook, and it's basically like, like, a ton of information about, about exchange trips and what you need to know and stuff, and it's really thick, actually, it's like thicker than the parent handbook, and I read through all of this, it took a while, and I did skim some parts, but I did read all of it, and, um, um, I'm actually kind of <coughs> disappointed because um, in a fellow exchange student's um, blog, um, I read that, I mean, well, I saw a picture she took of her handbook, and her handbook was really cool, and it wasn't just, like, printed pages like mine, like, hers was, like, a legitimate book. It was like a book, and, um, like, in color and everything, and I was like, that's, that's, ugh. I wish my traveler handbook was a book, but <laughs> it's okay, even though it's not, it's fine. Um, other than, other than that, there was also a, like a, like a permission slip thing, kind of like your parents and you had to sign and then fax over to YSU. I guess this is to like make sure for the last time that you still want to go. And um, there was of course da -da -da -da, a t-shirt which is student gets one and um other than that there was also a a paper like telling like the parents that yes we know there's been like a lot of pro natural disasters in Japan this year and like problems with radiation and they're like um we're perfectly okay with it if you want to cancel your your application and stuff but they also reminded us that actually Japan is technically safe um, and stuff like that. And they told us that they wouldn't put any exchange students within 62 miles of the radiation area 
So, I mean, I don't think it will be too bad. And, and actually, that's also what I wanted to talk about um, in this video because a lot of people are saying that, like, oh, you shouldn't go, it's dangerous. But, like, I feel like, I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I don't, I personally don't feel like a little radiation threat is going to stop me. I mean, I love Japan and its culture and, you know, I put in so much work and so much effort and so much time into, like, applying to YFU and I've been patiently waiting for, like, half a year and I don't feel like I'm ready to give all of this up, to just, like, throw it down the sink and just waste it all. I mean... Yeah, I get it's that that it's probably not the safest place to be right now, but I really like Japan and I'm willing to risk it because I think it will be an awesome and amazing opportunity to go there. And so I'm not going to let this stop me. And actually my parents at first they were like um they wouldn't let me go because of the radiation but then when they found out that I got a scholarship and then when they realized like how much I really wanted to go, they decided to um, change their minds and let me, which I was really, really happy about. Um, so, um, yeah, 